Elite Facts presents. If you find this in the wall, do not touch it. Seven. Wall USB. This is actually a common trend across New York. If you've ever seen a USB stick embedded in a wall and you just so happen to be carrying your laptop with you, don't even think about plugging your laptop into it. Now, before we go any further, this wasn't originally intended to be dangerous to a person's security and details. This actually started off as a harmless art project. The idea behind this strange phenomenon is to create an anonymous offline file sharing network in public space. The drives are completely public, and anyone who wishes to can plug in their laptop to drop and download files. The art project is known as Dead Drops and was first conceptualized by Aram Barthol. Admittedly, as an art project, it's pretty creative. But let's be perfectly honest, if you were walking by this, you can't tell me you wouldn't be tempted to see what was on it, now would you? Well, maybe you should get those thoughts out of your head. We know it's very tempting, but at the exact same time, it's also extremely risky. As you can probably guess, what was supposed to be a neat little art project turned into a haven for malware viruses. Certain individuals caught wind of this and ruined it for everyone involved by dropping several malicious files on there that could corrupt or even steal files from your PC. This can be especially dangerous if you use online banking, as it could take your details from your browser history or that malware could just be waiting for you. But this is merely us speculating as we don't know for sure, but we sure as hell aren't going to find out either, so just don't do it. Six. Card trapping. Yeah, this one is something that's been around for a while, but hasn't come to light until recently. So next time you go to an ATM, be extremely cautious. There are a number of methods in which card trapping can be done. For starters, before putting your card into the ATM, make sure to check the following. The keypad. If the keypad seems very wobbly or even bulky, definitely avoid that machine at all costs. The reason being is because they can not only read your card details, but will also get your PIN number from you as well. Secondly, make sure you check the slot in which you're putting your card into. If that's wobbly or seems out of place in terms of aesthetic, you know, ATMs don't really have any sort of aesthetic, but just if it looks odd compared to the rest of the machine, well, don't put your card in. In fact, if you simply mess around with the card slot, you may find that it's not actually part of the machine at all and is something planted in order to get your card details. Finally, and this one is completely up to you, try and stay away from standalone machines. Hole-in-the-wall cash points tend to be fine. However, standalone ATMs tend to be a prime target for mods and whatnot. Just be wary. 5. Hidden Cameras while we're on the subject of modified ATM machines, it's not unusual for hackers to install hidden cameras of their own into machines. Ironic how these machines already have cameras built in to prevent stuff like this from happening. Anyway, another common method that criminals use to steal your money is by installing hidden cameras near ATM machines. These spy cameras are strategically fitted in a way to read your card PIN number. Since they are quite small in size, they are usually fitted near the keypad. This is why you always take a few moments to have a look at the ATM machine to see if it's safe to use or not. You're better to be safe than sorry. 4. Keystroke Logging Keystroke logging is another method used by hackers to trap you. It's especially used to steal net banking information. Here, hackers disguise various files online to look like programs or image downloads which then makes users unintentionally download said files. Once they've done this, it allows the fraudster to trace their keystrokes. It's because of this that they've been able to steal the victim's passwords or credit cards and net banking details. 3. Portable Contactless Readers So card trapping is something that's been around for many years. However, with the rise of contactless credit and debit cards in recent years, Many criminals have thought of a crafty way to steal while on the go. This was a worry a lot of people had when contactless cards were first introduced, as it seemed as though it would be easy for people to get a hold of a person's card and use it to buy whatever they want without the use of using a PIN number. Well, as it turns out, criminals don't need your card. They just need a portable contactless reader to get your money. No PIN required. They just hold the scanner up to where you'd have your wallet and scan. 
Yes, more often than not, it can easily read through fabrics and leathers. It really makes you wonder if easier really is better. You're better off just having a normal chip and pin card. Yes, it's a longer process, but only by a few seconds. 2. Farming Ever click on a website link that looks familiar to a site that you're used to but is actually filled to the brim with malware and pop-up ads? This technique is known as farming. Fraudsters take users to a fake website that seems similar to the original. So as you transact and pay via credit or debit cards, the card details are stored and later used to steal money from your account. 1. Public Wi-Fi if you remember not too long ago, we did an entire video on the dangers of public Wi-Fi, so we won't go into too much detail on it, but the very last thing you should do is make bank transactions using a mobile app while using public Wi-Fi. That is a recipe for disaster. Most public places that offer Wi-Fi don't protect you from hackers. That means that there's nothing stopping a hacker who's using the same Wi-Fi provider from looking at what you're doing giving your phone a virus, and more importantly, stealing your details, usernames, and passwords that you've previously used on that phone. So pretty much, don't use public Wi-Fi. If you do, make sure you sign out of it whenever you're not using your phone, as you're pretty much asking for trouble. And that's our list. Did we leave any out that you know about? Let us know in the comments section below. Please remember to subscribe and tap the bell button so we can notify you when we've uploaded new videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more elite facts.